The paper comes from a, a bigger programme of work. Um, so we know that people with severe mental illnesses like schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorders uh, have a life expectancy of 15 to 20 years less than the general population. And, and this is a big concern. Um, but what we know less about is how this uh, difference in life expectancy varies for ethnic minority people who also have a diagnosis of uh, psychosis. We followed people up over an eight year uh, time frame and it was a very large cohort of about 25,000 people from a very ethnically diverse part of London. So we had uh, a, a good number of people from each of the main ethnic minority backgrounds and we've, we were then able to look at mortality um, outcomes by each of the ethnic minority groups um, who had also been diagnosed with psychosis. I think the main finding is, as has been shown in many other pieces of work, um, irrespective of ethnic minority background, when you look at um, mortality um, risk, it's greatly elevated in people with severe mental illnesses. And this is, it's quite stark, so something like a uh, two to three fold um, increased risk of um, natural cause mortality and up to seven to ten fold increased risk of suicide um, and um, other causes of death uh, from external causes which are non-suicide. We looked at um, black Caribbean people, black African people and a group of people who we uh, described as South Asian. We found that there was uh, a reduced mortality risk um, in people with psychosis relative to white British people with psychosis were followed up over the eight year time frame. I think a more intriguing possibility is that um, when uh, people live in areas which are ethnically diverse, some of their health outcomes can be a bit better. And uh, the area, the catchment area of the study um, is a very ethnically diverse part of the UK, it's one of the largest Black Caribbean and Black African communities. So it might be that there was something which was health protective for people living within these areas. Um, and it might be, which might sort of be through things like social support, um, better um, social networks, um, buffering against things that we know are bad for health, like uh, discrimination and racism. So I think in future work, we're hoping to try and unpack this a bit further.